get out of here. Yeah. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. It won't go to after dudes are like, wow. Let's get to the main event here, man. Wow. This is, this kind of went in an unexpected direction, right? I'm happy about it, but I'm not happy about it at the same time. I'm happy about it because I get a chance to talk about it. I'm not happy about it because I think they're moving too fast. But let's talk about this, though. So, V, Violet, and Carver have their first kiss, as you guys seen. Now, if you watched my videos, I think it was last week. I mentioned specifically in that video that I hope that they go the slow route and putting Violet with Carver or having that first kiss. Now, they can have the first kiss and not be in a relationship yet. But I would have rather them had waited first because I felt like they're starting to build some momentum in the fan base as far as, you know, Violet fans and Carver fans wanting them to be together. And... <laughs> I think they move too fast, though. I would have loved for them to, like, tease it this year. And then maybe, like, the season finale had did it because... I don't know. I feel like it's too soon, though. Even though they started this really last year, they started this little, like, you know, that Violet had a crush on Carver uh, last year. But it still feels a little soon, though. You know? Um... I don't know, man. I don't know. But in the scene, so this is how it happened, bro. This is how it happened. So they're at Molly's, right? They were at Molly's. And Carf uh, Carver offers to uh, um, buy her a drink, right? So she walks away. And just like last week, he wants to know why he's being iced out by it. Like, she keeps, like, doing this, like, every time there's a chance for them to get really close. She kind of walks away, and so he finally confronted her about it. And good job on you, Carver, for, um, uh, for uh, you know, getting her about it because she really hasn't talked about it, right? Like she really hasn't talked about it like that, like she should be doing. And he finally got to her and, been, and was like, "Hey, you know what's going on, Violet? You keep walking away from me." And so. She didn't really get a chance to say it, but we all know what it is. You know, she's still, Carver's technically the first guy she's been with since, um, uh, 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 uh damn, just had his name in my mind, man. <laughs> just had his name in my mind, bro. Uh, Hawkins, Chief Hawkins. And, you know, and it's devastating because he, he was someone that died, though. It wasn't like this was just like an ex-boyfriend that went away or, or disappeared or something like that. He's actually someone who died. And so, Violet is probably really scared to get close to someone again because she probably feels like, hey, this person will leave too. Because a lot of people keep leaving in her life. Like, Sylvie's about to leave. Um, Gallo just left. Hawkins is gone. Like, she's dealing with a lot of people that she's getting close to in her life. Like, it seems like outside of the other people in the firehouse, you know, Stella... The other people she's close to, Ritter and stuff like that, they're still around, but everyone else is leaving. And so I think she is being very cautious because she doesn't know what's going to happen with Carver in the future, you know, but she can't think about that right now. She got to just live her life in the moment. And good thing Carver was aggressive with this. You know what I mean? And I got to tell you, that, that kiss was hot, bro. So they went home together, man. So I don't know if they slept together, but... You know, and we revealed all them details, but we know if we get the, the, the standard bedroom scene in the beginning of the episode, we know what happened uh, next week. But, uh, yeah, man, um, I'm liking it. I'm liking, I'm liking where this is going, bro. I'm actually liking where this is going, but I still think it's too soon, though. I think writers have to save a little bit, man, especially when it comes to love relationships, man. Let, let, us, let us crave for that, man. Let us really crave for that. But they can still write this wrong. Like, they don't have to be in a relationship right after this. Like, it could be something where Violet still keeps her distance from him. But, like, every now and then, he, he becomes a fuck buddy for her. But, like, we'll see how they, like, I don't know, how they write that in as far as does Violet stay distant, you know, until she's really ready to, like, get in a relationship with him. So... 
Let's see how it goes, man. I hope they tell that story for Violet, man, because this is pretty awesome. You know, Violet can act her ass off. So, you give her anything, that would be good, man. And what a good fit Carver is in the firehouse, right? Like, when he came last year, I was a little unsure about him in the beginning. But he's really settled in really well. I think the Gallo storyline really helped when he had that going on. Um, Kind of made him more endearing. And then this uh, Emma Jacobs storyline as well. Uh, because remember, they were talking about that. I talked about Emma Jacobs last week, by the way, too, how they should bring her back. And have, now that Carver, she got a history of Carver, do this little, you know, exit storyline for uh, Emma Jacobs. Because they still haven't, we know Emma Jacobs wants some, wants some smoke. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> they need to go on ahead and do that. But let's see what they do with it. Let's see what they do with it, man. Uh, go on ahead and give me y'all thoughts on this one, though. Cause this kiss, this kiss was hot. This kiss was hot, man. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Like this, this kiss was hot. But what a good, good fit, Carver is uh, to the firehouse. And I hope the new guy that they just got in, um, uh, Gibson. I hope man, he's from Bold and the Beautiful. So I used to cover Bold and the Beautiful on this channel too. So he's a Bold and Beautiful alumni. I think he was on that show Fire Country last year too. Um. But yeah, G Gibson, man, I hope he fits right in with this crew, man. They needed a new firefighter anyway, like some young blood. Uh, Gibson, man, I, I hope he fits in really well, man. So let's see how they do with him. Uh, and hopefully he's someone that sticks around a long time, too. Like, I'm getting tired of them getting, like, new people and then them leaving. Like, luckily, Violet has has stuck and Ritter has, too. But, um... Uh, yeah, man, especially with Sylvie going away, man. They're going to need another new female next year, so we'll see what happens with that. But, yeah, I'm lollygagging on. Let, let's talk about um, Stella Ride and, and finish the week of Chicago Fire, man. Give me your thoughts on this, man. Give this video a like, share, subscribe. I can't wait to hear from y'all in the conversation. Just let me know what y'all think. Thank y'all for watching. After dues, the light.